is quite a strong character in European folklore. Kathy thinks carmine bee eaters. It's not. Sorry, Orbs, uh, go again. Alright, okay, copy, thanks. I know this is Nyoni, uh, uh, just towards where the buffalo are sign on the fire break. Okay. Let's have a look. They could be anywhere right here, right now. Ah, I see them. I see them. Let's get a bit closer. Now, as I said, they've got something to do with European culture. And uh, when you have precocious children and you don't want to explain the birds and the bees to them, uh, the deliverers of babies and so well done to Raisa spot on the white stalk and apparently there are a couple of hundred around here so that's why I came to have a look well there's some in that tree there there we go white stalks now this could be a lovely new one for the bird list for a few of you now of course they're famous for nesting on chimneys in Europe on the top of chimneys. Now they migrate down to Africa to take advantage of the insect boom we have during our summer and they follow the rains around. And speaking of rains, it's fairly uncomfortable if you're a stork. It looks quite, they look quite chilly. And of course, after spending uh, their summers in Europe, I mean, um, the African winter is probably warmer than the European summer. Look at this. Now, uh, we're going to keep on adventuring around, seeing what else we can find. But we will be heading back to those lions a little bit later. And, of course, there's leopards around and elephants as well. So it's been a very successful safari so far. So if you want to see uh, what happens next, you're going to have to stay with us. Uh, we're going into a little break. So come back to see what incredible African wildlife abounds after this. There we go, another fake ad break. Uh, let's see if we can sneak a little bit closer to those white stalks. So uh, I can't see the hundreds that were mentioned. I can probably see about 25 or so. Oh no, don't fly away. Oh dear. Look at that. Adina says this is number 175 for her bird list. Now, there we go. I don't want to disturb them too much. I think they've stopped here to roost. And what I'm hoping is on tomorrow's sunrise safari, they're going to be on these open grasslands around Sydney's waterhole, looking for lots of different critters like grasshoppers and northern harvested termites. So I'm not going to push them too far. And I uh, think... We're going to go for a little bumble about to see what else we can find. <laughs> 